In this video, everyone, I'm not only going to be talking about something that I personally believe is very exciting, but also something that could come as a bit of a shock to a lot of you out there. It's kind of crept up on us, and it's finally upon us, everyone. The release, or should I say the pre-release, of the Caves and Cliffs update is near, everyone. That is why in this video, I'm going to be talking about how the new Caves and Cliffs update pre-release could be coming potentially this week, everyone. So if you're hyped for the Caves and Cliffs update, Sure, you drop the video a like and subscribe if you're new around here for daily Minecraft content. But without wasting any more time, everyone, let's get right into it. Now, the first thing I want to say before we get into all of this is I just want to give you a speculation disclaimer. This is speculation, it has not actually been confirmed that the pre releases of the Caves and Cliffs update, or should I say 1.17 part one of the Caves and Cliffs update, are here. Maljang have not really said anything about it at the moment. So obviously I'm going to be speculating a little bit, but as a Minecraft YouTuber that's been doing videos about this amazing game and this amazing update for nearly like over an entire year now, which is actually insane to think about, um, I actually have a list of all of the 1.17 features, not only the biomes or the mobs, but each individual feature. So not only like the lush caves, not only the axolotl, but all the way down to each individual block. Now something strange has happened ever since the split of the Caves and Cliffs update into two parts we actually found out that part one will only contain the blocks and the mobs of the game. Apart from there is one exception the Warden and the Deep Dark which have actually been put back until part two of the Caves and Cliffs update which is actually 1.18 and I'm not actually joking everyone be sure you correct me if I'm wrong down below in the comments or if there's any other features you discover but the only feature I've got written down here that we still yet to receive as a part of the blocks and the mobs update part one of the caves and cliffs update is actually the goat horn now you can be sure to correct me as I said I'm sure there's a few more features I've actually missed over but this is the only feature of note we are yet to receive of course there might be a few secret changes or snapshots might be delayed a few weeks and we might not actually not receive one on Tuesday but the thing is if you take all of this into account and how little content we have yet to receive I seriously believe we could actually start seeing pre-release snapshots for the Caves and Cliffs update 1.17 as soon as next Tuesday which as of when I'm recording this video on the 9th that could actually be the 11th so the 11th of May 2021 is when I believe we could see the first pre-release. Now, is that a bit optimistic? I know you might be thinking, sure, it's very optimistic. That's taking into account that Maljanga on, they're on it, right? Maljanga on it, they're ready, they're prepared, they've been thinking about all of this, they're ready, and they're ready to get this update out so that they can get to giving us 1 to 18 snapshots as soon as possible. But let's just say that Maljanga not being like that, and they just want to chill out, take their time, and keep things slow. I think that we could be expecting this definitely within a month. I do not really think Maljang can delay this for much longer. The fact that the update was split up confused me. So I think that the best thing Maljang can do is give us this update early 1.17 which is basically only a creative mode update where you get the new blocks and mobs so that they can start giving us 1.18 snapshots as soon as possible which is now where everyone's focus has shifted to ever since the split of the update the attention and the care and um, people's um, care towards 1.17 just dropped dramatically I even saw it a lot less people are actually interested in 1.17 now and I believe that's because all of the interesting content such as the world generation the warden and all of this has now been moved to 1.18 and I think Maljang have realized this so the best thing they can do get this update out as quick as possible which may still take a few weeks but the reason I titled the video new caves 
Thousand Cliffs pre-release coming next week? Question mark is because I really believe that as soon as next week, which is Tuesday the 11th of May, we really could start seeing pre-releases. But one thing I just want to talk about is what do we do after the pre-releases? I know a lot of you might be like, why would Mojang want to rush it out? And 1.17 is meant to be a huge update. You've got to realise that Mojang are basically using 1.17 just to get some of the base features out there to keep us happy until the holidays when part 2 is coming out with all of the main features. So let's just say that next week Maljang do give us the first pre-release of 1.17. It would make a lot of sense and then maybe the pre-release could go on for a few weeks, they do a few iterations, they fix all the bugs and that's how it works. Another big possibility is that next week we actually get a pre release candidate which is basically a version that could be a pre-release and could be the final version of the pre-release which is how it usually works. This is different to 1.16 I've saw a lot of people saying that Maljang are unlikely to do this because they released 1.16 a bit later on in summer. You've got to realise 1.16 had like five new biomes, a bunch of new structures, a bunch of new mobs, new armour, new particle effects. It was insane. This update is literally a creative mode update. Everything I did is either new blocks or new mobs that can be put down using spawn eggs. They do not generate in the world naturally and you will not find them in the world unless you go into creative mode. That is why I really do believe that Maljang will bring this out at the very beginning of summer unlike what they've done with past updates so that they can actually start focusing on Wonder 18. But hey everyone, let me know what you think down below in the comments. I'm so excited for this and I cannot wait to see what we get next week on the 11th of May. What do you think we'll get? Let me know down below in the comments. But yeah, if you did throughout this video notice a little secret, then be sure you go back, check it out if you missed it, and comment the secret message that was hidden within this video. And I'll be sure to drop the comment to heart. I love adding those little easter eggs for you all to look for and search for while you hear about some of the latest minecraft news i will be sure to keep you all up to date everyone so if you're not already be sure you subscribe here on the channel we do daily minecraft videos here everyone and we're trying to reach 17,000 subscribers i think at the moment we're only about 300 or 400 away something like that so if you could subscribe and help us reach that goal help grow our amazing community here on youtube it would be insane everyone and drop a like on this video if you did enjoy it it really helps it out a lot and gets it out there to more people looking for some minecraft news and information but thanks for watching everyone i'm gonna go now i'm gonna go and play some minecraft you should too <laughs> goodbye